Hello and welcome to my video. So in this video I'll be making lily pads out of ceramics. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make a coaster that was a lily pad that can hold like water bottles or like water cups. And this was actually commissioned by my sister. My sister was um, is going to pay me 10 bucks uh, to make these. So I was like, yeah, heck yeah, that sounds like a fun project. And so I, did, I decided to take the job. And um, so right here you can see me throwing on the wheel. And I just wanted to throw like a really flat plate. And I really was eyeballing the first, the first one. I was, I plan on making two um, lily pads, and so I decided I'm just gonna eyeball the first one, and then the second one I'll just try to duplicate like the the first one. And so I use like um, I use some measurements to try to make them look similar. And then right here I, I I cut like a triangle out of the the little tiny plate that I made on the wheel, and then I used like a wooden tool, and I just looked up a picture of a lily lily pad and just tried to go off like a reference um, just to try to like get the patterns right so I did like a kind of like a, a branching out where like the veins of the lily pad on the center of the coaster and I tried to smooth that out the best I could because then when you put your water bottle on the coaster it doesn't rock or anything and so what I did was I for the second one was I just centered the clay which was pretty easy since there was a small amount of clay on the wheel I just made this the small plate and I used calipers which was like a measuring measuring thing I used in certain ceramics and I just uh, duplicated um, the first one like I said before this project was really fun I've been wheel throwing a lot recently um, unfortunately I do have to stop because I did graduate and um, I did this all inside my high school in my senior ceramics class and so um, I did this all during like um, Raider Block and ceramics club which is a club my brother and I made um, inside of our school but this is the the coasters I made and they're pretty pretty much identical and then I ended up having to cover them up. Um, I put them on a vat. I covered them up with a plastic bag and then threw them in a dark closet to dry out for a few days. So a few days later, I just came back and this is, uh, this is me trimming the bottom of the plates. Um, they were really quite difficult to trim actually because that one triangle that I cut out the, the lily pad from, I shouldn't have cut that out so soon. I should have waited till after I was trimming to cut that out because it made it a really big pain in the neck to, to trim because I ha kept having to lift my trimming tool um, every time I, or I had to hand trim it, um, so I couldn't really use the wheel that much or rely on the wheel to be like even. I just had to hand trim it and rely on my own eyes and just, you know, kind of eyeball it, I guess. So these are the lily pads and yeah, as you can see there, <clears throat> it's not the perfect trimming job, but it came out pretty well, or pretty good. And then I got them fired inside the um, kiln, which bisque fired them. It hardened the clay, dried it out, and then now I get to glaze it. So glazing this, I came in with the idea of I wanted like purple on the inside of the veins, and then I wanted green on the uh, lily pads, obviously because green lily pads are green. And then I used like a moss green on the edge, which was like a darker colored green. Now the color scheme didn't come out exactly the way I was thinking when I was glazing it, but these are right what they looked like before the kiln and after. So this is that this is what the coasters look like. My sister ended up paying me uh, ten bucks, and I'm pretty happy with the with the way they came out. Um, the color scheme was a little different than what I was thinking, but I do still think they look great, and she was happy with them. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please please leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.